This morning, we're going to continue our series. We call it Never Too Late, where you find out how it really is never too late for a new chapter. That's good news. A movie world legend who's always worked behind the scenes is having a surprising revival, you could say. Renato Cassaro is his name. His iconic movie posters promoted new releases for decades, but his beautiful hand-drawn work fell out of favor and fashion when studios turned to digital graphics. Now, as Chris Livesay reports, the 86-year-old artist is back thanks to one commission that changed everything. He's the Michelangelo of movie posters. But chances are you don't know his name. Over the course of 50 years, Renato Cazzaro has drawn the first impressions of some of our favorite films. It's like a sculpture. <laughs> Posters he likens to bait on a hook. The less you give away, the better. Like in Dances with Walls. This mark says it all. Helping turn movies into milestones, and mere mortals into stars. Bellissimo. Uh, oh, you can't do this no, in Photoshop. No, 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 no. <laughs> Born 86 years ago here in Treviso, Italy, Cazzaro got his start as a teenager drawing posters for local theaters in exchange for tickets. His big break came when iconic Italian filmmaker Dino De Laurentiis was making his epic blockbuster, The Bible. It was a colossal film. My posters were put on billboards on Sunset Boulevard. After that, my phone never stopped ringing. James Bond, the last emperor, the never-ending story, a never-ending list of commissions, thanks to an uncanny gift for building a film up by stripping it down. The movie has, you know, 100 minutes where it can tell this story all you have is one frame. How do you choose that one scene? That, how do you choose that one picture that's going to become the poster? It takes a lot of scribbles. The table gets covered in them, and then you throw them away. Slowly you narrow it down, you subtract, you don't add. The poster of Nikita shows a woman with a back turned. Behind a bathroom door, it makes you wonder what just happened. The viewer says, I have to go and see what this film is all about. And see them, they did. More than 2,000 posters bear his signature. Until one day, the phone stopped ringing. Software, like Photoshop, he says, had put him out of a job. With all the action films of today, it's very easy to generate a spectacular image, but we know so. Then, after 17 years, his phone finally rang again. It was none other than Quentin Tarantino. He was shooting Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Leonardo DiCaprio plays a fading movie star in 1969. Brad Pitt plays his stunt double. Kill me quick, Ringo, said the gringo. Tarantino needed a vintage poster, so he turned to a vintage artist. This is the poster you designed yes. for the film inside the film. I get it, okay. Yes. Tarantino so sent him this so thank so you. So yeah. Okay, so it says, to Renato Casado, thanks so much for your art gracing my picture. <laughs> You've always been my favorite. Tarantino. So this is Tarantino. Yes. <laughs> the spotlight, long overdue, was finally cast on Casaro. A Cazaro retrospective is now touring Italy, and even streaming services are buying new works. Oh, this is for Netflix? Yes, yes. Oh, wow. New technology offering a job instead of putting him out of it. You have all of Hollywood here. Yes. Hollywood giveth and Hollywood taketh away, he says. As a poster artist, we weren't considered part of the production, so our names were never in the credits. Because I see your work and I realize I've been a fan my whole life without even realizing it. Everyone tells me that, he says. But now, thanks to an unlikely third act, his countless fans can finally know his name. For CBS Mornings, Chris Livesay in Treviso, Italy. 
for yep, that. I'll bet you looked at those posters and go, I know that one. I know for that sure. one. For sure. Nicely done. He's the man who beckons you into the theater. Yeah. yeah. One of my favorite parts about going to a movie is walking to the theater and seeing the posters. Yep. And saying, Outside. ooh, yeah. that's coming out. I got to yeah. check that out. I want to see We've probably that. seen his over and over again. Yeah, Rambo. Now we know it's a classic. Yeah. Rambo's a classic. <laughs> one arm with the machine gun. It's amazing how that worked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, coming up.